Good morning, everybody. We are in Simala Shrine right now. It is, it is just very unfortunate that we cannot go inside. We are not allowed to go inside because still the whole province is under enhanced modified community quarantine. So the health protocol dictates now while a mass gathering. So the shrine is closed, but you can light a candle as to signify your intention. And bibigyan ko kayo ng magandang history about Simala Shrine. If we have to believe that love can move mountain, faith can create a shrine or a castle. It all started way back 60 years ago. There was a very wise man by the name of Inko. Uh, the, the name of Inko is Inko Villamore, who had a vision of a white lady on this mountain. This used to be a mountain that she, what he saw in his vision, there was, a, there was the apparition of a white lady that eventually will make this mountain famous. Itong lugar na to, ang budok na to, ay wala, it's barren. Walang mga vegetation, walang kahoy na bumubu, na bubuhay sa pagkat it is made, it's it's made of rock, it is made of rock, stones. So walang mga vegetation na nabubuhay. Then Inko, Villamor, with this apparition, nagkaroon ito, nagkaroon siya ng anak who who, be, who became eventually a priest, si Monsignor Thomas Villamor. Thomas Villamor was. He did became a priest and he met a monk from Pampanga, ang pangalan ng monk na yon, ay si Father Martin. Father Martin came here together with the nuns and the monk from Pampanga are looking for a place para magkagawa sila ng maliit na monastery for their religious faith to Mama Mary. At napunta sila dito sa bundok ng Lindugon. Lindugon was a forsaken mountain. It is a barren mountain kasi wala ngang vegetation. So pumunta sila dito, gumawa sila ng maliit na bahay. At yung maliit na bahay na yon, doon sila parang they have devoted their prayers. And people were mocking, people were laughing. Kasi anong ginagawa nila sa isang lugar na walang tao, walang pagkain. Kasi nga bundok siya, walang mga vegetation. But their faith had continued them and never lose their faith that that through immense prayer, itong lugar na to slowly had uh, developed into religious uh, destination among the faithful. Way back in 1995, a dengue outbreak took the life of seven children on this barrio. Pitong bata ang namatay dahil sa dengue outbreak. And through the prayers of the monk, monk led by Father Martin na, 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 na eliminate yung mga mosquitoes at the same time after the seven death of a dengue outbreak na revive yung buhay nila at the same time there was a slowly growth of flowers uh, a, a good smelling of flowers which was really very miraculous kasi nga itong lugar na to puro mga kabatuan imposibleng may mga flowers na na to grow but then, yun na nga, may mga flowers na nag-grow at saka the smell of it was really very enticing at saka na-eliminate yung dengue outbreak. So gumawa sila ng chapel at, at nag-proposession sila and there was a weeping image of yung lumuluwang dugo ni Mama Mary. And thus, the, the word spread like wildfire at that was the start in 1998, developed and built a small chapel and eventually became a shrine through the contribution of the people those were people who have changed their life those those people who have uh, uh, petition heard by Bama Mary kahit na ako ang mga reviewers ko na mga engineers came here to pray and eventually their prayers were answered because of their devotion to Mama Mary. As I said, it is unfortunate that we cannot go inside right now because of the pandemic. And hopefully when we come back, we will be allowed to go inside. Mama Mary, we love you. Good day, everyone.